Hello, my name is Jerome Carpenter. I am a nurse executive in Louisville, Kentucky, and I am also a Doctor of Nursing Practice student at the Duke University School of Nursing. I am providing information on an important topic for healthcare in Kentucky. I will discuss the need for legislation to improve the level of care that advanced practice registered nurses can provide for patients in our state. First, I would like to provide some brief background on advanced practice registered nurses in general with some specific additional detail for Kentucky. Advanced practice registered nurses have advanced degrees, either at the master's or doctoral level. They are tested by national organizations and become certified after passing a rigorous standardized exam. There is extensive research that supports both the quality of care provided by advanced practice registered nurses as well as patient satisfaction with that care. In Kentucky, all advanced practice registered nurses are granted advanced licensure by the Board of Nursing. This advanced licensure allows advanced practice registered nurses to practice autonomously as licensed independent providers. This means they provide primary care independently without physician oversight. They provide this care in many rural underserved parts of our state, some of which are identified as health provider shortage areas or areas in our state that do not have enough primary care physician providers available for the communities. The only requirement in place that limits the practice of these nurses is for them to have a collaborative agreement to write prescriptions for patients. This collaborative agreement is with a sponsoring physician and it does not require direct supervision. It does not require physician review of prescribing practices. It does not require patient care discussions or contact between the doctor or nurse of any kind. It can be viewed simply as a contract. I would like to provide some statistics on how our state's advanced practice registered nurses are positioned to help provide more access to care for patients. There are currently more than 4,000 advanced practice registered nurses in Kentucky, over 2,700 of which are nurse practitioners and nurse midwives, the group of advanced practice registered nurses that are partic particularly well positioned to provide primary care to patients. These nurses practice in most of Kentucky's counties as well as health provider shortage areas. In a recent study by the Kentucky Institute of Medicine, it is predicted that by 2020, there will be a shortfall of 2,700 physician primary care providers in our state. This number was based on current standards that predate the 2010 Affordable Care Act, which is predicted to provide insurance coverage to an additional 350,000 to 400,000 Kentuckians. This graphic illustrates the number of primary care physicians and advanced practice registered nurses in Kentucky as compared to other states in the nation. You can see that our state rates higher when considering the number of advanced practice registered nurses compared to primary care physicians. Legislation is needed in Kentucky to allow our advanced practice registered nurses to be able to write prescriptions for our patients without the requirement of a collaborative agreement with a physician. These prescriptions are just basic needs for patients, including such items as antibiotics and insulin. As previously stated, these agreements do not require physician oversight of any sort. Removal of this agreement will allow advanced practice registered nurses to establish their own practices without fear of losing their collaborative agreement, which could lead to an inability to fully care for their patients. Removal of the collaborative agreement requirement will allow advanced practice registered nurses to provide care to patients in our state, especially those in underserved areas. Thank you for your time and consideration of this important topic and access to care for patients in Kentucky.